Hello everybody, this is a gorgeous arm and chest workout with abs, no cardio. I know, isn't that lovely? So you've got a section of arms and chest, section of core, another section of arms and triceps. Grab your weights, get your water, get your towel. We're ready to rock. Starting off with... You might be doing some work on your knees, so if you do need a mat or a towel or you've got a nice comfy rug, then that's fine. Explain why we're on our knees, Aaron. You're going to take a lot of... Uh, well, for two reasons. One, it's going to activate your core a little bit more. And two, it takes any momentum that you can get from your lower body. Everything is a little bit tougher when you do them on the floor. Okay, so from here, you're going to be doing a shoulder press. We're then going to go into a tricep extension. I'm going to turn around so you can see yep. that. We're going to go tricep extensions. With one or two weights, up to you. Normal press ups, and then you can jump on your feet for the biceps. Okay, and you can stand up just for your biceps, and then shake your legs off. So we start on our knees. And to get yourself right, really important that when you do them on your knees, you don't start to collapse over. Don't sit back. So we're in this position here. Don't sit back here and rest. Okay, it's a sport up. sport, isn't it? Chest up, shoulders back, so still very good posture and through the spine. So we're doing okay. 30 seconds of each, eh? We are, yeah. Let's press. Okay, so I'm going to bring them down here, is that right? And drive. So what you want to do on the way down, so Annie's uh, a hexagon shape, she's going to pretty much rest them on the top of our shoulder. So they're going to touch and then go. So as soon as you feel them touch your shoulder, then you drive up. If you're tight in your chest, you sit in an office all day, or you work on a computer, you'll find that your chest here is quite tight. So as you bring your hands down, the elbows are going to come forward a little bit and going to rest on the top of your chest. Really important, you open that chest up, get the range of movement in that shoulder. So one more rep and then we're going to go into tricep extensions. So arms up, tricep extensions. Still stay tall, really important now that you tighten up your abs and you keep your back straight. Now I'm squeezing my glutes a bit, that helps me. What Annie isn't doing here, she's not dropping her elbows down and making it into a press like you've just done. So like this, not she's, doing that. She's folding from her elbow and extending up towards the ceiling. Not throwing forwards, not pressing, it's an extension through the elbow, working all the tricep. Which is the back of the arm. The bit we love to work, don't we? Weights down, let's go into a press up. No, you can go on your knees. If you can do four ones, do four ones. Just make sure your setup's right. So hands in line with your chest. Let's go. Hands in line with your chest. Head and spine nice and neutral. Imagine if you're looking at the clock face on the floor with your elbows to be going at about 20 past eight. Sweat is pouring off you already. Control down, pause, snap up. Try and keep that head up. If you're doing them full and your range of movement is getting less, Drop down to one knee and finish them off. But really get that range in Into the chest. The knees. All the way down, all the way up. Good, jump up on your feet. We've got our bicep curl standing up. Take a little, just take a little bit of pressure off those knees. Chest up and squeeze. Now turn sideways so you can see. So what Annie isn't doing here as well, if you are looking, she's not pulling back. So I keep my fingers here, she's not really pushing against my hands. What your body might try to do is, as you lift up, you might want to pull backwards. So yeah. the back's trying to help. Like you. This. Don't, don't let it. All of doing in there is your lats are trying to take over, okay? We want to isolate the bicep. So you keep those elbows nice and tight. So I've got five kilos and I find that quite hard. So squeeze your glutes as well, that'll keep your back nice and straight. Oh my goodness. Another couple of reps. And rest it out. Good. A little bit of rest. We're going to do that three times. So two more sets of those, and then we're going to oh. we're going to hit the abs. So back down onto your knees for the shoulder press. Remember what I said about not letting them collapse in. You've really got to force them out. Bring the elbows down, chest up here. Okay, super important. Come on, you gorgeous people. Let's do it. Let's press. Oh. <laughs> Come on, you press. <laughs> You're pressing in straight lines. I can put my hands here and Annie won't snap my fingers together because she's pressing in straight lines. See, I'm not squishing my hands. Same. Straight line up. What she's not doing is clapping, she's bringing them round, almost like she's doing a star jump. You're not clapping them together. You're pressing up. So the, that, that weight that I've got, which is five kilos, it feels really quite challenging now. Try some extensions, so arms up. If you're still holding two, well done you. If you need to drop down to one, that's fine. You can lower the weight. 
Don't lower the weight until you can't get that full range of movement. So if you think, oh, it's getting a little bit tough, try the next rep. And if you get that one and you think, oh, that might be a little bit tough, try the next one. Keep trying that next rep until you can't do any more, then you regress down, then you lower the weight. It's the only way to get stronger. You've got to push through that little bit. Where it gets, it gets a little bit tough. Goodness me. Keep your abs tight. Squeeze those glutes. Don't round the back. Don't sit on your heels. Ugh. Come on. Press ups. Good. Bring the weights down. That's not easy. Full. One knee, two knee. Box press up. Start at your hardest version. Oh and man. Then you can regress down. It's much easier to start the easiest. <laughs> Let's go. Things if you start at the easiest, oh. you'll never really. Progress Get back up. up. No. You'll stay there. So start with your toughest and then slowly regress down. So full, one knee, two knee, box. Think about those elbows. Hands in line with your chest. Your chest is going to your hands, not your head. Oh, I need to go one knee. That's fine. Remember the elbows? Clock face that you're looking at. 20 past eight. Think about the time. Good. Back on your feet. Back on your feet, grab the weights, biceps to do. Up, down, up, down. That's good. Let's squeeze. <laughs> seconds. Uh, not going to go sideways again now. Okay, what you'll find here, some people, you might even be doing it right now, is you bring your hands right in here and squeeze here. Don't let that happen either, okay? Open that chest up, open your shoulders up so I can pull any shoulders back nice and tight. See, I let them go, that's where they are, she's set. So you've got to struggle, you've got to make faces, that always helps I find Faces are the, face the noises. <laughs> a few more. <sighs> and rest. Feel 20 seconds rest, one more set. And so I'm looking longingly at the fours. I quite like to take those, but I'm going to try not to. Not only until you have to. Oh. Not because you want to. If you've only got one set, that's fine, you stick with it. Yeah, so you. And if Let's you think, oh, I don't know what she's going on about, I feel it quite, might be quite easy, then add a few more reps. Okay, fine, that's good. Here we go. Back down on your knees, chest up, shoulders back. Don't sit on your heels. It's tempting, I know. Don't do it. Let's press. <sighs> Control down, drive up. Let them touch your shoulders. It's a good marker to know that you've got the range in your shoulders. See, as you bring them down, if it's coming towards the front of your chest, or the top of your chest, you yeah. know that you haven't got as much right, range. Yeah. You've got to open them up. Don't let them collapse. 10 seconds. Don't slam them together at the top. Sorry. No, you do. Did I just do that? I'm to them. <laughs> I know someone will be. <sighs> extensions. Tricep extensions. Oh. And he's feeling strong today. Staying with the flies. And extend. Good. It helps if you're in front of the camera. <laughs> So you've got one in each hand. One thing you can do is if you actually put them together, push the weights together before you regress down, it will make it slightly easier. Still lifting the same weight. Yeah, so what do you mean? You're just distributing the load slightly. Holding them like that as a bunch. So you're just changing. It's still the same weight, it's just distributed slightly differently. Oh, Breathe in at the bottom. Breathe up. Come on, you might get one more rep. You might get one more rep. Try that extra rep. Try that extra rep and press ups. Oh. Bring the weights down, keep it close, do a bicep to do, press ups, straight press ups. Oh. Mm, let's go. Oh. You get tough now, these press ups. You're going to start to get tough. Chest down, drop your head up. Try and keep your head up. Don't look at your feet, okay? Don't look at your feet. You want your spine to be neutral. Haven't got to look at the ceiling, but you just don't want to be looking at your feet. So get the depth, keep going low. Chest below the line of your elbows. That's the important uh, part. Your chest plate, I mean. Uh, Biceps. See how I'm really quick at getting up, aren't I? Super speedy. Sorry. Bicep curls, let's go now, 30 seconds. So remember, don't pull your elbows backwards. Don't get halfway up with your arms and then snap your elbows back. It's not what we want to do. Okay, we want to squeeze, get a full range in that bicep. Good. Stretch down, pause, squeeze up. Make sure you're getting all the way down. So get the tricep even a little tense at the bottom. Yeah. Just so you know you've locked them out. So you're not doing little, not going to little there. hooky half-reps here. There. 
How's it going? A little hooky half rep. Little hooky half rep. <laughs> They're not for us, are they? You got four long, proper reps. <sighs> Good, just rest, put them down. <sighs> put your weights out of the way. We're going to do a little bit of ab work. If you're strong in your core, you might want to keep hold of one dumbbell for the Russian twist. If you're not great at Russian twists, or you find issues with your back, then you can do them without weight. Right. That's fine. So this Russian is a Russian twist. twist. I'm going to do that because my knees are hot. Like that. One dumbbell, twist, so my chest is facing you, then it faces the wall, then you. So it's not that. Like One foot else. down, two feet down. If you think, oh, your back's dying, all we want you to do is go back down and do normal crunches. Okay? Or just oblique crunches like that. Sorry, I just have to get in there so I know that. So we start with the Russian twist. <sighs> Chest up. It's important your back straight. Let's twist. 20 seconds of each. So we're going to do a Russian twist, and then we're going to a bicycle crunch. And we're going to do 20 seconds of each five times. So it's quite a lot of volume. Slow your tempo. Try and get that dumbbell into your back pocket when you're twisting around. Think about collapsing your ribs. Good, roll back. Weight down, roll back, bicycle crunch. So if you do both of these with your feet off the floor, that's fine. If you feel anything in your back, put your feet down. Even with a bicycle crunch, just straighten your legs at the floor and bring one in so they meet and then one drives in. Otherwise, do your normal bicycle crunch. And with a bicycle crunch, twist from the chest, no flappy arms. Rest. A couple of seconds rest. One set done, four to go. And the bicycle crunch, you don't want to see this. Okay, no little flappy arms, you twist. Torso, boom, snap it round. Okay, grab your weights, brush and twist, with or without dumbbell. If you're doing them with dumbbells, that's fine. Start with the dumbbell, put it down when you have to. Let's go now. So, you could do this and get loads of momentum. Try not to. Now try and pause. Otherwise, all you're doing there is you're bouncing. You're bouncing left and right where you want to be pulling, squeezing, and your body's stopping you. As it happens, a firing up to act as a break. And then you're squeezing back around again. Bicycle crunch. No flappy elbows. Let's go. Go to straight legs at the bottom. So when you straighten that leg out, when you snap it out, it should be an inch or so from the floor. And you lock that leg out. Bang, snapping. Don't just stop doing it again, little, little funny knees. Like these, keep going. Keep going. Rest, two sets done. We're going to be strict with the rest now. We're going to get 10, 15 seconds tops. Yeah, so I can already feel that there's not going to be any jokes from me in this section. <laughs> Sit up, grab your dumbbell if you're using it. What's into him? Just 15 seconds. Oh, it's too much rest. I can't actually get up. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Let's do it, Deadman. Be strict with your work. Okay, if you're doing them this way, if you find that your knees are flying and your legs are all over the place, I'm put one foot either put them together or put one or two down on the floor, okay? The rotation is the important part. That's what we're trying to work. Five more seconds. Bicycle crunch. Straight. It starts to get you here too. Let's go. This is set number three, so two more after this. And that straight leg. So just, just very, very close to the floor. Twisting from the chest. Keep saying it, no flappy elbows. You're not going to get anything out of that. Shoulder blades are off the floor. Try to lift one shoulder to the knee and rest. Three sets done. I'll give you a shout out 10 seconds so you can get ready. Well, meanwhile, we can just doze for 10 seconds. I think that was code for that. Let's get back up again. Sit back up. Stop making a fuss. Chest up, shoulders back, tight, control. Let's go. 20 seconds. Really important now you're in control. See Andy? What set is this? This is four. set number four. So Andy's feet are nice and tight. They're okay. Some people you might be all over the shop, okay? If you are, just tighten them up or put one down. Yeah. That's fine. Oh. Bicycles. Straight down. This is set number four. Really unpleasant. Let's go. This is seriously unpleasant. Snap. Snap it in. Snap it in. Twist. Straight legs. No half reps. I've said before with the biceps. Same with the legs. No half reps. Straighten them out. Twist that chest. Snap each one in. You don't need to do thousands of reps when doing core work. You just need to do them properly. Rest. Ten 
seconds. Final one. set coming up. One more set, then we just finish off a little bit of chest and triceps. Yes, that'd be fine. Then we're done. Back up. Come on. Dumbo if you need it. No moaning, whinging, Deadman. Last one, let's do it. That's it, little twist and control. So I want to do that, get it over and done with. Try and get the dumbbell into your back pocket. Don't rush the reps, you don't want a stretch reflex, you want a control, muscle contraction. Keep your chest up, don't round your back now, come on, chest and head up, positive posture. Get it up and bicycle crunch, it's then done. Oh my poor legs. Oh. Hip flexors, lower abs, they're going to be screaming a little bit. And if you have to put your feet on the floor, you can but straighten them out. Either way, you straighten them out. Snap it in, get your shoulder blades up. Oh. Get those shoulder blades up. Oh. Lift that shoulder to the knee. Snap that shoulder in. A few more reps. Rest. Good one. Nice. Right, well, you can stay there because we've got lovely chest flies. Lovely chest flies followed by lovely tricep press ups. So, chest flies. Start here, open. Hands are always in line with your chest. If I stand here, then you will miss me. Because your hands are in line with your chest. So okay. you squeeze them over your chest. Always through the chest, here. Boom. And then you're going to roll over and do a tricep press up. So hands are narrow, like that. And my head is over my hands. I'm going to squeeze my boobs together, elbows towards the knees. Now you might need to bring the knees forward, that's fine. As long as your head is way over your hands. It might take a bit of practice to get those right. I feel like an estuary this time. I was doing all the movements. Were like, you? Were you <laughs> Exits and all that. Right, yes. chest flies first. Make a lovely air hostess. <laughs> Cabin crew. Cabin crew, yeah, hostess. Oh, you're not allowed to say air hostess now. Sorry. Here we go. Stretch and squeeze through the line of your chest. Okay, it's really important you squeeze through the line of your chest. If you go too high, you're bringing the shoulders in. You're going to get a little bit of pain in the shoulder, okay, or the neck. You want to squeeze through the chest. So as you lower down, your elbows will probably just touch the floor, but your hands won't. They might be very close to it, but they won't completely touch the floor. This is still 30 seconds, yeah. everybody. 30 seconds of each of these. Oh. Stretch out, squeeze in. <sighs> nice reps. Another couple. One more. Three. I'll do one more. Two. Good, tricep press up. So now you roll over. Okay. Weight right. transfer forward. So on your balls of your hands, okay? Let's go. Weight forward. So everything is going backwards towards your glutes. And his elbows, shoulder blades, everything is going backwards towards her glutes. And her head is going forwards. If you look at the bottom of the position, drive up through the floor. Elbows pretty much just rub your rib cage on the way down. So they don't flare out. This time they're going right back, nice and tight. So see I've changed my knee position just to make it less hard on the triceps. My bum is slightly in the air. The head is still in the same place. That's the important part. Yes. Good, just rest. Head forward, that's the important part. On your tricep press ups. So we're going to make sure that we don't, when you're doing them, you're not here. Yeah. Okay, that's never been a press up. So it needs All to right. be, head needs to be beyond your hands. Forward. Set. We're going to go those chest flies again. So grab your weights, get them in the right line. So middle of your chest, open and squeeze. Let's do it. 30 seconds again. Now be tempting to bend your arms when you bring them up like that. Don't want to do that. That's bicep. We've worked those already. Okay, we're going to isolate the chest now. So soft elbows. But your arms stay fixed. That position they were at the top, they stay in that fixed position. So all about where your chest attaches. Attaches at the top of the shoulder, in here. So as you're bringing your arm in, you're squeezing it together. You're shortening that muscle. Stretch and press ups. Good. Let's roll it over. Tricep press ups. Let's go. Technique always. First, technique always first. Oh. Get that range. If you can't get all the way down, then just bring your knees in a little bit. Keep the head forward, lower your chest to your hands. Every time, chest to your hands. What you've got to keep thinking? Elbows backwards, 
Elbows in your back pocket, chest to your hands. So I've made, I've gone easier now because my shoulders and my triceps are hurting a bit too much, but I'm still going to keep in my technique. And rest. One more set of those. Good, this nice little bit to finish on this triceps and chest. It's been good, we've done well. Been good work. You've got praise, you hear that? You've got praise. praise. So if you mix this in, or if you did this, uh, alternated it with the lower body one. Whoa. We're cracking! You could do that three or four times, four times a week, each well, one twice. On to a winner! Let's go. Excuse that noise, it's a train. Alright, stretch it out, squeeze it in. So your lower body, your upper body session we're doing now. Plus throw a little bit of cardio to get that heart rate up. Keep your cardiovascular system flying. And you've got a great little workout there that you could do for easily for a few weeks. Stretch and squeeze. Focus on your technique. We say it so much because it is so important. We want, we want you to be working the muscles in the right way. Get strong in the right positions. Yeah, you don't want to have wasted effort. <laughs> Goodness me, we don't do that, do we? Wasted effort. Press ups, tricep ones, weights out the way. Here we go, so our last thing now. I'm going to start off difficult. I'll probably last about three reps when <laughs> my shoulders are feeling. Let's go. Here we go. Elbows backwards. So, fingers pointing forward, elbows go backwards. Drive up. Come as a third set. We've done well up until this point, so let's finish it off nice and strong. You will be tired, you might have to regress down. Oh. The next time you do it, it might take you longer to regress down. And that's how you know you're progressing, that's how you know you're getting stronger. How long? Another 10 seconds. So it's another two or three reps, all we've got. Finish it off. Come on, finish it off. And rest. Can I do one more? Great work, well done. Fantastic, everybody. So They'll probably go, oh, oh, put one down your back and just stretch it like that. And then do the other side. You just really quickly go and wash your hair before you get too tight. My hair, yeah. yes. So I always find when you do upper body work, you can't yeah. wash your hair. Your I'm driving, don't work. it's difficult. <laughs> well done, everybody. Stretch and cool down, and we'll see you again very soon. Thank you, Aaron. Well done.